Welcome to the hottest entertainment blog on the internet today, The A-List. I am your host, Wes Troop, and I just found out the other day I'm Oprah's long-distance cousin. Time to send me a check, Oprah. <laughs> then I can get a... Alright, people. This week, the Oscar nominees came out, so I figured I would take some extended time this week to talk about what I think about the Oscar nominations and let you know what they are, just in case you haven't heard yet. Anyway, we're going to start with the nominees for Best Supporting Actress. Here we go. We have Amy Adams for The Fighter. Not bad. The Laura Cooper of Hollywood is nominated. Helena Bonham Carter, who I'm sure will look very weird at the Oscars. That's for The King's Speech. Melissa Leo for The Fighter, who won the Golden Globe. Probably the favorite here. Uh, Haley Steinfeld from True Grit. Little girl. And uh, Jackie Weaver from Animal Kingdom. I don't think anyone knows who that is. But those are your nominees for Best Supporting Actress. Um, once the Oscars come up the week before, I'll do my predictions. Just so you know. For Best Supporting Actor, we have Christian Bale, Batman himself, who won the Golden Globe for The Fighter. Josh Hawks of Winter's Bone. Uh, Jeremy Renner from The Town. Mark Ruffalo, Kids Are Alright. And Captain Barbosa himself, Jeffrey Rush. For, uh, not for Barbosa, for uh, The King's Speech. Best Actress, Annette Benning for The Kids Are Alright. Nicole Kidman for Rabbit Hole. Jennifer Lawrence for Winner's Bone. Natalie Portman, the favorite obviously here. Uh, Black Swan. And Michelle Williams, Blue Valentine. One good thing about Michelle Williams, she gets naked a lot. Alright. <laughs> For Best Actor, we have a surprise, many people thought, Javier Bardem for Beautiful, Jeff Bridges for True Grit, maybe make it two years in a row, I doubt it, but you never know, Jesse Eisenberg for his portrayal of Zuckerberg in uh, Social Network, Colin Firth, the favorite here, uh, for The King's Speech, and James Franco, that's right, Harry Osborne's in here for 127 hours. Uh, best Director, we go to Darren Aronofsky for Black Swan, uh, David O. Russell for The Fighter, Tom Hooper for The King's Speech, David Fincher for The Social Network, and Joel and Ethan Cohen for True Grit. Did we miss someone there? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Best picture. Here's the here's the big money shot right here, people. This is the award everyone wants to know who's gonna win. Black Swan, best picture. The Fighter. Inception. The kids are all right. The King's Speech. 127 hours. The Social Network. Toy Story 3. Some loving for Tim Allen there. Finally. <laughs> True Grit. And Winter's Bone. Yeah, you might be surprised. Um, I'm sure there are some on that list that, uh, on on a few of these lists that you're like, hey, 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 where's uh, where's this person? Where's that? Where's this movie? So uh, there's definitely some snubs and surprises. So I'm gonna, I wrote down some of my uh, ones I've thought got snubbed. Uh, uh, definitely for director, no Christopher Nolan for Inception. Come on now, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, definitely, that was lacking. Um, best picture, no town. Uh, the town was really good, I thought. Uh, if you didn't see it, I did a review on that one. Um, it should be right beneath this one. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I even said on that review that it would be nominated, and I guess I was wrong, obviously. Uh, <laughs> uh, ben Affleck for best director on that one, too. What's going on? Um, <laughs> oh, well. Uh, supporting actress, Mila Kunis in Black Swan. Mila Kunis. Mm. Especially now that she's single, she's even more attractive. But uh, <laughs> that she's not uh, doing Macaulay Culkin. Oh, uh, for supporting uh, actor, Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man. Uh, or Justin Timberlake for The Social Network. 
but you know, I guess you know you can't have ten awards for each, or you can't have ten nominees for each award. I guess so. Ryan Gosling for Best Actor for Blue Valentine, even though I haven't heard it, I heard he's good in it. Um, and one uh, for original score, Daft Punk for Tron Legacy. You know, so whatever. <laughs> but you know, that's those are the ones I came up with. If you can think of any other snobs. Or snubs, I guess, not snobs. Uh, or uh, surprises that surprised you. What do you think of the nominations? Put it on here, on the comment section. There's also been controversy uh, going around that we noticed that all of the nominees are white. We're all crackers. So, uh, <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know how to respond to that on here, politically correct. So... I guess, you know, Jaden Smith got snubbed for Karate Kid. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you would say. So, uh, anyway, that's an interesting fact, but I guess no one that wasn't white wasn't good enough to get in there this year. Anyway, I'm going to exit this conversation <laughs> while I can. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, go into our segment that uh, talks about celebrity sex tapes called All right, sex. Oh yeah. All right. Well, uh this week a celebrity sex tape news, we have uh Kendra Wilkinson is that supposedly has another sex tape out there. Again, come on. Let it be someone new. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh well. Anyway, this time it's with a girl, which means HLA time, baby. <laughs> That's the HLA theme, Katy Perry. Anyway, <laughs> HLA, it might be okay. Either way, I'd still like to see a different person. <laughs> Some news on the release of Avatar 2 and Three. Um, James Cameron had an interview this week and said Avatar 2 and Avatar 3 will be shot, like we said on here, back to back. And uh, have releases of Christmas 2014, for two obviously, and for Avatar 3, 2015 Christmas. So I'm sure those will be huge numbers. I wanted to do this segment last week, but we have to do it this week. Ladies and gentlemen, reality check. Or report. <laughs> Whatever, I haven't done it in a while. I forget what all these segments are called. Um, last week, American Idol began once again, and we saw some good auditions and some bad auditions. But uh, the big news was the new judges, Jennifer Lopez, Steven Tyler, how would they be? Uh, comment on there if you like them, if you don't like them. Uh, I, I think it's different, but it's still good. You know, uh, they're, not, they're not Simon Cowell. They don't want to be Simon Cowell. You know, uh, Steven Tyler, I think, is good at criticisms, and J-Lo is nice like Paula. So, you know, definitely they're both nice, good judges. So that's what I think about the new judges on American Idol. Now it's time for everyone's favorite time of the week. The box office prediction. The B. O. P. Oh yeah. Everybody likes the P. B O P. That is. <laughs> Last week I said that the Natalie Portman Ashton Kutcher film No Strings Attached would be number 1 and I was right. This week, I say the Anthony Hopkins horror flick, The Right, is number one. Will The Right be right? Stay tuned. Till next time, Troop, out.